Hey everybody, this is Drew from Guitar Player University, back for another Guitar Player Used Tip of the Week. Today we're going over vibrato, and I'm going to need my electric for this. So, uh, vibrato is very popular, particularly when played in the blues, um, and that's the type of vibrato we're going to go over today. There are many different types of vibrato. Let me just start, what is vibrato? Vibrato is when you very slowly bend the string to give it kind of a shaky feel. And like I said, there are many different types. There's a more subtle vibrato that comes from moving your finger back and forth, similar to a vibrato on a cello or a violin. However, those instruments do not have frets, so it's usually a little bit more effective on fretless instruments. On fretted instruments, we have to do vibrato where we bend the string up and down. And you'll notice I'm not bending down too much because I'm bending or I'm doing the vibrato on the E string. And if I bend down too much, whoop, I'll pull it right off the fretboard. So my vibrato on the E string consists of bending up a tiny bit and then going back to where it started. So it's just like this. And you can see I'm only moving my finger about a couple millimeters, maybe an eighth of an inch around there. Um, but that's how you can get vibrato. Some people like fast vibrato. Notice I'm shaking the guitar, that's okay. If you guys have ever seen B.B. King play, you know what vibrato is all about and you know how powerful it is. That man can say more with one note with vibrato than Steve Vai can say with a thousand, in my opinion. He's just got a lot of soul and uh, when you add vibrato that's very strong, you can get a lot of really soulful sounds out of the guitar. It really comes to life. So um, on these strings that aren't the E string, like the B and the G, you can do vibrato and you can pull down more, up and down. And it's okay to rock the guitar up and down. That's fine. Matter of fact, that's how I started because I had a lot of trouble with this when I was first learning the technique. So I found if I threw the guitar back and forth, it was actually a little bit easier to do. But that's how you can do vibrato. I suggest adding it to all your solos and all your licks. Thanks for watching. See you next week.